Hey, what's up guys? Adam here. Today for you guys I have a hands-on demo of iOS 5.0. Now this is actually the beta of iOS 5.0, so there may be other features added in the future before the actual release, which is in the fall. Now guys, to prove you guys I'm actually on iOS 5.0, there you go, you got version 5.0. Now guys, to begin with, there's just some uh, various uh, UI changes with iOS 5.0. You guys can actually see that, uh, for example, on airplane mode and all those other different settings, the little things are circular instead of uh, square, just something I noticed. Uh, but moving along to the actual biggest feature of iOS 5.0, this is the new Notification Center. Now guys, notifications is a uh, sore topic with iOS in the past. The notifications were very obtrusive, they just popped up and you had to do something with them. Now with the iOS 5.0 Notification Center, you guys can actually see that you can actually scroll down and you can actually see all of your different notifications down there. So for example, I have a tweet from Twitter and you guys can also see different uh, widgets that are actually uh, there automatically. So you have your uh, weather widget and you have your stock widget as well. So basically, uh, if you want to access this uh, notification, just tap on it and uh, there you go. Now I'm on Twitter, so very useful. Now guys, also with Notification Center, as you guys can see right here, you can actually get your notifications right on your uh, lock screen. So you basically just click on the little icon and then you can actually slide to reply, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, there we go. Now guys, like I mentioned, you guys saw that Twitter was right there. Um, Twitter is actually something that's built deeply into iOS 5.0, which is a really cool thing. So for example, you guys can actually go into settings and you can actually enable your Twitter account right there. It's built into many different applications such as a camera, a Safari, and all that. Now guys, the next thing I wanted to show you guys in iOS 5.0 is iMessage. Now iMessage is a feature very similar to BBM and it's built straight into the messaging application. So for example, if you're talking to a friend who has an iPod Touch, an iPad, or an iPhone, you guys can see here that it says uh, uh, message, it says uh, iMessage right there and the blue messages are the iMessages. So my friend has an iPhone, he has the beta as well and we're actually going to be talking to each other through iMessage and something cool is you can actually see when the people are typing. So for example, there'll be a little uh, dot 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 as if they're typing um, if they have iMessage as well. Now guys, moving along, we actually have a new uh, application built in and this is Newsstand. Now Newsstand is pretty similar to iBooks where you can actually get newspapers and magazines straight on your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. And basically, there's not really anything to do with this right now because, you know, it hasn't launched yet. But in the future, you'll be able to go in the App Store, download your different magazines, newspapers, and store them right here um, in this little bookshelf view, which is really cool. Now moving along, there's actually another new application with iOS 5.0, and this is the Reminders application. Reminders is pretty much what it sounds like. It actually has different views such as a calendar view or a list view. You can actually see different reminders that you set. And uh, for example, if you click on one, you guys can see here uh, that you can put your different details, you can click done, or you can delete it. And also, you can actually scroll to the left and you can see all of your completed tasks. Now guys, moving along, there's actually updates to the camera application. And in the camera, you guys can see there's one new update right there. I'm not sure how great you guys can see this. Let me put it a little bit closer. You guys can see there's now options. And before there was only HDR mode. Now we actually have uh, HDR mode and grid. And the grid basically helps you out when taking a photo. It basically just adds a little grid here and it helps you out with the uh, picture taking with the rule of thirds, which is pretty cool. Now guys, another new update to the camera application is kind of built in. Once you take a photo, you guys can actually see that you can go in to the uh, photo in your photo application and you now have this edit option so in the edit option you guys can see here that you have a few different things down here number one you can actually flip it horizontally and vertically you can also click this little enhancement icon right there and it'll actually automatically enhance your photo kind of like what Apple does with the uh, iPhoto and for example if someone has a red eye you can actually click the little uh, red eye button you can select their eye if it has red eye on it and uh, that's the option right there and the final edit option is actually this little uh, crop right there you guys can actually see you can drag around your little crop and you can basically just crop the image and then click uh, crop right there and now it's cropped. Now guys, one more thing with the camera application is actually on the lock screen and basically if you go ahead and double tap the home button, you guys can actually go right to your camera application regardless if there's a password on your uh, phone or not. So there we go. Now guys, moving along, there's actually two more updates to iOS 5, and these are in the settings application. And these are something really cool, so you go ahead and go into settings, then you scroll down to general, and you guys can see here iTunes Sync, 
and uh, software update. So the first thing is iTunes Sync, and this basically allows you to sync your iTunes over Wi-Fi. And for some reason, it's not really working. Ju I'm just guessing because this is uh, just a beta of iOS 5, but you guys do have iTunes Sync right there. Now moving along, you also have software update, and once again, this one's not really working. It just basically says that uh, my network is unavailable or too slow, and I am connected to Wi-Fi, so not really sure why it's saying that. But this is basically going to allow you to uh, update your software over the air. So there we go guys, that's about it for my quick hands-on demo of iOS 5.0. Once again, this was a beta and beta 1, so in the future we should see some new updates to it, allowing for more uh, support and all of that. So anyways guys, if this video helped you guys out, be sure to like this video below and subscribe for more content. Thanks all for watching.